Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I wanna answer a couple of questions that keep coming up about this particular system I've done uh, actually multiple videos on. Um, this is the third system that's going to Works Holsters. Shannon ordered three of these, and I'm getting more and more potential clients and clients asking about the option for dual relay control for their spindle, as well as manipulating speed through Mach 3 of their spindle. Well, essentially this system, depending upon how many end mill tool changes you require, if you're dealing with products that only require a single end mill, or you can get away with tooling just to mount one end mill, you essentially have an autonomous robot. Let me explain. This particular unit would allow you to not only control spindle speed on top of controlling the spindle cycling of on and off, on top of being able to rotate the spindle's direction through Mach 3 in either direction. Well, if you understand G-code, and many of you guys that are just getting involved with this niche may not, uh, the G-code, you can actually manipulate the speed of the spindle through the G-code in the program, as well as determining which direction you want the spindle to rotate, on top of also controlling the on and off cycling of the spindle. When you think about that, if you only need to machine with one single end mill, this unit provides an autonomous robot without an ATC uh, spindle, which stands for automatic tool change if you're just getting involved, once again, uh, with CNC robotics. So again, looking at this in an inclusiveness of what this system includes, once again, these systems right now, this is a custom built system, uh, but it did include a pre-configured in terms of all of the hardware for the DB9 um, double shielded cable that goes from the system to communicate with it to the actual VFD along with the mounting bracket and everything done to the VFD as well as the pre-programming including the VFD without the spindle and this system you're looking at 2850. Now factor that in for an autonomous controller that supports four axis can go up to 600 ounce motors and actually go into NEMA 34s if you wanted to. I, there are NEMA 34 motors that I offer to take your CNC router or mill, and typically they're used on mills, not routers. You have got one heck of a setup. I mean, and again, I get clients that ask me, you know, well, I may need to do more than one tool change. Okay, but then factor in still, how much time is this robot going to save you? You know, I mean, when you think of an autonomous robot, I've got the printer going on in the background. I'm sure you guys hear the 3D printer moving, the MakerBot method. And that's autonomous. Once it's set, it's fire and forget. This, once you get the system stable, you are controlling everything as you would with a 3D printer. And the product line that you can determine with this is amazing. For Shan over at Works, uh, they've got a great foundation and he knows exactly what he needs. And again, this takes those projects to an entirely different level when, again, one guy sets it up, once the program is loaded, he programs in whatever spindle speed he needs, which direction the spindle needs to be on, and when the program is completed, all of the G code to actually turn off the spindle, and it's all done. You can set it and walk away. Now, I still recommend having a camera on the system so you can monitor it remotely, but when you think about that, for the dollar amount we're talking about, it's pretty crazy. And we're talking about, you know, three year, a three year uh, US warranty on the drive. You get the longest warranty in the industry. I mean, when you factor in everything that's been done to this system, and again, we got our dual relays. We've got cycle forward, cycle backward direction. We've got all the wiring diagrams for servicing in-house should you want to. Of course, Shan always sends me his systems to work with, which is also fine. But when you think about everything being done, Consider that in your price because a lot of guys are looking at an ATC spindle and just the ATC spindle by itself typically costs about two to three thousand dollars. Not everybody requires an ATC spindle and only certain motion control software will support them inherently without being modified. So keep that in mind. When you think of building a product line, if you already have a product line, think of can I get away with a single tool? If I can get away with a single tool, this is your system. I get asked that question all the time. How much for an autonomous robot? How much can I get with, you know, outspending six, seven thousand dollars? What can I get? 
This right here is your biggest bang for your buck. If you add your own spindle, you add your own spindle cable, you've got a complete controller setup that will definitely grow with you. And depending upon if you actually require the fourth axis for a slave configuration on your Y, or if you want it to do a rotary axis, it's amazing. Now why I say for a plasma system, you're not really looking at an autonomous robot in terms of a mill or a router because a plasma is typically autonomous because, again, it just cuts. There's only one tool that it uses, which is the plasma cutter. It turns on, it turns off, that's it. You know, but for a mill or a router, you need a system like this. If you want something as close to the ATC capability, this is going to be it. The big question is, is how many products, and this is what I ask all of you, leave in the comment section because many of you guys already know this, how many products can you make with a system that you can control the speed of the spindle and control both forward and, and aft direction on top of cycling the unit on and off? If you think about that, many guys can create a lot of different products. It's just a question of how creative they are and what do they really need to support their business because either way you look at it, this is an amazing configuration. If you factor in um, getting the G code configured in terms of M3, M4 for cycling your directions and you know picking speeds inside of G code, once again, if you factor in learning all of that, that's basically where you're at. You know, and basically where you're at in terms of you know taking your your production facility to the next level. Once again, if you consider a shop like Works just bought three of these. Think of the fact of what he's able to do with three of these robots in consecutive motion. And I always tell my clients that. Don't look at necessarily buying big machines. Shan's not using a lot of big machines. He uses a lot of smaller machines, but the way he uses them to strategize is, again, having three systems like this, it enables him to, to just multitudes of operations in terms of you know expanding what he's able to do in whatever operation he's working with. You know, and again, you can see the detail. I get all the questions in the world asked about all of the uh, graphics on the system. Everything here is made for easy servicing, whether you're doing it yourself or, again, if you wanted to send the system back for servicing. But again, I hope I've answered many of your questions. Once again, a system of this caliber, you're looking at about 2850 with U.S. shipping. International will be slightly different. That includes the HYVFD pre-program with mounted DB9 connector, along with the communication cable pre-built from the system and everything you see here pre-built. Now factor that in. Excellent pricing, considering the fact that we're looking at what you're able to do in virtually an autonomous robot. I thank you all for support. Take care.